na kusalimu mpendwa naamini ya kwamba uko salama katika jina la Yesu Asante sana kwa kuchagua Agape Love TV kwako nyumbani pale kazini mahali popote ambapo natutazama tunakwambia tunashukuru sana kwa sababu hata ya kuingia YouTube na pia na subscribe na like na share tunasema ubarikiwe tu sana kwa sababu wewe ndiye unayetusongesha mbele tunaamini ya kwamba pia unabarikiwa na tafadhali mazuri hayo usinyamaze nayo zidi kuambia watu kuna mazuri katika Agape Love TV na katika channel nini kipindi chetu cha Debora kimekuwa cha baraka tena zaidi. Kwa hivyo tumekuja katika part 2 ambayo tulikuwa pale na mgeni wetu ambaye anaitwa Agnes ametuambia kuhusu maisha yake a, vile Mungu amempeleka na hakika nazungumzia watu wa mama wasichana na maneno mazuri. You know, Hakuna kitu kizuri kama ku, ku, kupatia mtu dwano aende akajitegee samaki kuliko kumpatia samaki yeye ametupatia ndwano anatuambia vile kuna vienenda akatuambia mazuri ya kwamba yeye hakutoka kujichanganya kama ni mama ni amelea watoto wake akiwa single mother watoto wake ndio how to last time alituambia wameenda wamepata uh, jamii zao ni wasichana warembo sana wazuri niko na, na picha yao mzuri sana na wajua kwa hivyo anatuambia ni yapi ambao anahitajika so is not only talking to the women but even to the young generation kama uko pale tafadhali usibanduke usichukue usi remote utoke mahali pale kuna maneno mengi mazaidi ambao anatuambia baada ya kuomba Mungu si unakumbuka akituambia alienda kuomba for 20 Four days. Four days kwa sababu ya watoto wake. Sijua mama mao naendanga kufunga na kuomba kwa sababu ya watoto wako ukizungumza mambo ama ni kuwarushia maneno. Siri ni kuwaombea. Hebu tusikie hayo maombi yalianguka patupu ama palipo palitokea mazao mazuri. Karibu tena Agnes. Asante. Tunafurahia tena kuwa pamoja Asante. na kuendelea ili ukaweze kusimulia a, a maisha yako vile yalivyokuwa. Mm. Naomba kwanza msalimie a, mtazamaji wetu. A, mtazamaji na kusalimia katika jina la Yesu. Mm. Asante kwa sababu ya kuamua kutazama hili runinga. Mm -hmm. Ya, ni pahala pazuri pakuwa mm. pahali pa kupatumaini mm. sababu safari ya mbinguni nataka watu watiane moyo mm. si safari rahisi tumeitembea miaka wewe uko nyuma yetu tunakwambia ni safari and it's a noble cause yeah. ukiitembea kulingana na neno la Mungu mm. tutakula matunda mm. maana bwana anasema kwamba <coughs> ita nitakuitika mm. na nitakuonyesha mm -hmm. mambo makubwa na makuu yeah. usio yajua mm. pia anasema kwamba yale amekuwazia mm. ni mema ni mambo yajawazo na mawazo ya mwanadamu mm. yajasikika mm. na masikio ya mwanadamu mm. hivyo Mungu ana mpango mwema kwako yes. hata kama unaona giza mm kwa kutapambazuka. Amen. Maana kilio ni cha usiku. Furaha mm. ya asubuhi. Amen. Karibu sana. Asante. Yeah. Kwa hivyo mpendo tunaendelea mama mam kutoka mahali tuliachia. Asante. Na kwa kweli nikaweza kulingana na vile tutasikia maana wewe uliita Mungu. Yeah. Na katika kitabu cha Yeremia mlango wa 33 yeah. pale mstari wa kwanza yeah. anasema niite yeah. nami nitakuitika. Yeah. Nitakuonesha mambo makubwa na mangumu yeah. hata yale usio yajua tunataka kusikia baada ya kumuita Mungu uh -huh. sasa watoto wameshakoma tumesikia dada msichana wetu dadangu mkubwa Priscilla ameolewa kuliendaje na hao wengine pia asante pastor Mimi ah mm. ukiita uh, Mungu Mungu Biblia mm. inasema wacha mwanadamu awe muongo mm. lakini yawe kwa Mungu wa kweli amen na hakika nilipomuita Mungu na nikaombea hao watoto na sio tu hiyo niliomba nikanyamaza mm. maisha yangu yote yamekuwa kuyo hata saa hizi nawaombeanga mm. wakiwa wakubwa mm. hapa ndipo yule msichana wa kwanza huyo Priscilla alikuja akaoleka na harusi mm -hmm. na akaoleka na mchungaji mm -hmm. na tukakaa sasa huyu watatu nilipata mm. na mchungaji. Mm. Akiwa form 2, mm. akienda form 3, mm. akapata mimba. Mm. Unaona kile shetani haajili yangi tu. Mm -mm. Kwa hivyo anataka kufanya ni kama anataka kuleta kale ka trend mm. kangu. Mm. Lakini kitu moja niliambia shetani wakati wa mtoto alipata mimba. Mm -hmm. 
sitaki kuona kile umefanya. Mm. Kwanza nililia kama mm. mama mm. kwa sababu nilingangana. Hapo katikati nilikuja nikangangana nikaandikwa mpaka nyumba, nikawa ninalimia watu mashamba huku Kayole, mm. mashamba kuna mama rafiki yangu alikuwa anapatiaka kazi ya kulima shamba. Mm-hmm. Nairobi na unalima mashamba. Mm-hmm unapewa sabini, shilingi sabini. Mm-hmm. Lakini uzuri wake huko tulikuwa tunachuna mamboga, mm-hmm. sabini ni yaunga yeah. na tumafuta. Yes. Na huyo msichana alipopata mimba wa pili, mm-hmm. watatu, mm-hmm. watatu sasa ndiyo alipata mimba. Yeah. Na saa hiyo tulikuwa tumeanza kuomoka ile vijana wanasema kuomoka. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu msichana wa katikati. Wacha nipeane kastori kwa huyo wa katikati. Mm-hmm. Alipata, aliporudia Mm. alipofanya class 8 mm. akapita mm. singeweza kumpeleka secondary yeah. akaniambia mami mimi nitarudi class 7 mm. ndio ukuo umepata pesa mm. wacha nikwambie hata aliporudi class 7 sikupata pe- pesa mm. siku ha. ya kuku kuwa na mambo kama basari ha, kuku kuwa, kwa hivyo hii basari zinasaidia zinasaidia kwa hivyo wewe mkubwa MCA yeah. pale MP yeah. tafadhali do not deny us yeah. that uh, kwanza huyo mtoto wa huyo mama uh, mpatie huyo maskini mm. Mana ku, na huyo mtoto wangu pastor Medi ni mwelevu yes. alikuwa mwelevu eh. na alisoma na wacha nikwambie mm. maombi ya mwanzo hata kama kutakaa kama imekatwa mm. lazima Mungu atakuja kudhibitisha mm. uliniomba na nikasikia Amen. na nakutendea yeah. hivyo huyo msichana mm. akawa tunataka kukosana kwa sababu mm. alikuwa anapenda masomo sana mm-hmm. unaona mtoto msichana amefanya class 8 mm. na nakwambia mami na rudi 7 mm. alikuwa na haja na masomo, na masomo. kabisa na ni Mungu. Mm. Sasa yeye akaandikwa mahali kakazi mm-hmm. na estate inaitwa Jakaranda, mm-hmm. akaitwa akaandikwa kasto mambo ya stock keeping. Mm-hmm. Huyo msichana acha nikwambie Pastor Meli, mm-hmm. ndiye msichana wa kwanza, huyo ndiyo wali, tuna proti mara mm-hmm. huko ndani kunaitwa Mutaria. Mm-hmm. Huyo mtoto ndiyo alinunua hiyo proti. Eh, na hizo Kwasa, pesa. Na hizo pesa. Uh-huh. Kwa sababu ili, unajua mm-hmm. hakuna jambo Mungu aweze kufanya. Nilimuita nikamshika mkono mm-hmm. na nikamuongelesha nikamwambia Mungu atakubariki kwa sababu umesoma. Mm-hmm. Mungu atakubariki kwa sababu umeamua kukubariki. Amen. Nikampatia story ya wale wamesoma, mm-hmm. hawajafaulu wengine wamesoma, wajasoma wamefaulu mm-hmm. na nikamuombea. Mm-hmm. Wewe mama Wacha nikwambie kitu kimoja. Biblia mm. inasema ulimi mm. una nguvu. Una, una nguvu ya mauti mm. na uhai. Mm. Kwa hivyo mtoto wako maneno unao nena kwake mm. inaweza kumuua aishe mm. ama imfanye kitu. Nikamuombea mm. na akaandikwa hiyo kazi mm. akaanzishwa na shilingi 1500. Mm-hmm. Kuna blouse zilikuwa zimetokea zilikuwa za nunua 500 akaninunulia kwanza na skati mzuri sana. Mm. Na huyo ndio yule mtoto alituhamisha. Mm. Sasa tukaingia kanyumba kazuri, ka one bedroom, mm-hmm. tukawa kaninunulia ka TV, mm-hmm. ka carpet. Mm-hmm. At least na mimi nikawa nimepata kazi ya nyumba. Mm-hmm. Nimepeana hiyo ya kuonyesha ya kwamba shika mtoto wako mikono muombe. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo si kuomba ila maombi ya Karula peke yake. Mm-hmm. Maisha yangu ni kuwaombea. Nimezidi kuwa mama wa kuwa maombi. Kwa mua, kwa Mungu. Yes. Mimi maisha yangu naitaka maombi my backbone. Mm. Sasa huyu watatu wamepata mimba mm. na ndio wakitinda mimba. Huyu mm. wa pili hajapata. Yeah. Akiwa na miaka 18. Pale pale nilipata. Eh. Yeah. The her 18th birthday. Yeah. Siku hiyo mm-hmm. alipata mimba. Mm-hmm. Wacha nikwambie mama uko hapo. Mm-hmm. Usirushe mtoto wako. Mm-hmm. Nikalia kama mama. Mpaka mm-hmm. huyo Priscilla akaifikia akaita mama mwingine rafiki yangu. Mm-hmm. Kamwambia kuja doko kuja uri, uri na, na rafiki yako. Mm-hmm. Amelia na, ni, na kwa sababu nililia alafu nikajikusanya. Mm. Biblia inatuambia Daudi wakati alikuta zikra kikume tekwa nyara na nini. Mm. They cried until they could not have strength to cry. Mm. Mimi nililia na hiyo kilio. Mm. Ile unalia tumbo inashikana. Yeah. Nilipomaliza nikainuka nikamwambia sikiza shetani. Mm. Sitaki kuona kile umefanya. Mm. Nataka kuona kile Mungu atafanya kutoka Amen. kwa hii maneno. Yes. Na nikajikusanya mm. nikamwambia please ila kesho muende iva. Mm wakaamuka asubuhi mm. na mchana wa dadangu maana alikuwa anajua huko umoja mm. na yeye mwenye kuendelea akasema mimi sirudi mm. saki kulea mtoto wangu kama vile ma, 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 ma ulinilea mm. lakini nilikuta ameniandikia barua mm. akaniandikia vile mama msoli ya been a good mother umenionyesha jia mzuri i've messed in my life nilikuwa na opportunity ya kutoa hii mimba lakini nikaona Mungu hata alisamehe na mimi sitajisamehe mm. kumbuka ni maombi nafanya kazi yes. ya inamkanya yeah. kwa sababu niliambia Mungu kitu mm. ombea mtoto mama amen na msichana ule kijana alimuoa mm. to make the matter was na yeye alikuwa shule <laughs> from diri just said has your kiss yeah sorry ina ina jirudit alikuwa from diri 
But I thank God you are a little Na sai niluke mm. wako America na ndio wananipeleka kwa America. Amen. Kijana alipomwoa mm. akama ya aka msichana akaka nikawaambia wacha mm. tukae na yeye mm. azae mm. nikae na mtoto arudi shule. Mm. Akaniambia huyu akai mm. na atasoma mpaka amalize. Yeah. Kijana alikuwa na confidence. Mm. He's a good boy. Mm. Thank you Baba Cynthia. Mm. Na kijana akamaliza form 4. Mm-hmm akakaa kwa nyumba na mtoto mm. msichana akaingia adult school yeah. pale chachami uh-huh. na yeye akamaliza form 4 uh-huh. akauliza unataka kufanya uh-huh. nini nataka kufanya beauty uh-huh. akalipiwa ashili uh-huh. kijana ujue alikuwa ame, ana, ame, alikuwa trustee wa nyumba za anko yake uh-huh. kwa hivyo alikuwa amepewa nyumba uh-huh. na analipwa yeah. mshahara wa kitu 15 10 15 20000 still when he was school in school yeah uh-huh. alikuwa yeah alikuwa huyo kijana alikuwa amepita sana alikuwa nasoma sentimeri huko Moranga uh-huh. ikawa sijui nini kulifanya na babake akawakashindwa kumsomesha uh-huh. si kushindwa ni kama kulikuwa uh-huh. na misunderstanding akaacha uh-huh. sasa ali huko msichana wangu alikuwa nasoma uh-huh. alikuwa amejirudisha shule uh-huh. Na lakini ni walika yake wameacha na kitu miaka tatu. Yeah. Alikuwa amejirudisha shule na jiripia. Mm. Kwa hivyo aliniambia huyu atasoma. Nikamuuliza sasa atasomeshwa na nani? Mm. Mama yako atawasomesha ama atakusomesha ama kaniambia kuna kitu nafanyia ngo. Mm. To cut the story short, mm. msichana wangu alisoma, mm-hmm. kamaliza form 4 mm-hmm. na akapata kile alipata na nikamcongratulate. Mm. Maana alisoma akiwa bibi, mm. akiwa mama yeah. na akiwa na, na, na hivyo zote. Yeah akamaliza akaenda Ashley akafanya beauty mm-hmm. akalipiwa pesa mingi mm-hmm. Ashley mm-hmm. akauliza unataka kufanya nini nataka kufanya computer akalipiwa mm-hmm. unataka kufanya nini tu kijana e. sio wale wa hit and run no. morife run a morife asapa na si niliomba e, maombi na Mungu naalisikia Mungu anashughulika lazima ashughulike hata kama alikuwa amefikiria kwenda Mungu hata kama kulikuwa kumeenda hivi Ehe. Mungu anajua kuleta hivi Ehe. Uh, Wacha niseme kitu moja na ambia wa mama. Mm-hmm. Watoto wa wenye haki. Mm. The Bible says in Psalms 112. Yeah. The children of the righteous mm-hmm. shall be mighty in the land. Amen. Watakuwa hodari katika nchi. Amen. Haijarishi. Yes. Na nasemanga wanakuwa na kakamba wamewekwa mguu. Mm. Akifika pale, mm. ameharibika, amekunywa pombe. Eh. Bora tu wewe umemuombea. Amen. Na bora tu umemuonyesha njia ile nzuri. Mm. Na bora tu na muongeresha. Mm. Watoto wangu nilikuwa nawaambia nitakuombea, mm. nikuongeresha <laughs> na nikuchape. <laughs> <laughs> Maana muti pia ni Biblia. Yes. Boko ni Biblia. Yeah. Na mdomo muongereshe. Yeah. Mpatie maneno ya hekima kama mm. mamake Sam, Samuel. Mm. Na mamake huyo ameandika Solomon. Yes. Mpatie maneno ya hekima. Yeah. Alafu na uende kwa Mungu. Yes. Maana yeye Mungu ndio alikupatia. Mm. Mwambia hiki ulinipatia ndio hiki. Mm-mm. Mungu deal nacho. Yeah. Na anajua. Amen. So msichana mm. wangu akamaliza mm-hmm. Ashley akafanya computer mm-hmm. akafanya driving mm-hmm. by the way wakitoka huku mm-hmm. uh, maana ni, ni green card walikula yeye yeah. ndiye mtoto wa kwanza kuendesha gari kwa ng'o amen so sasa hiyo kwa amen hiyo ambayo ulikuwa umeona ni kama yeah. mungu you know sometimes jambo linatendeka mam yeah. unaona ni kama mungu akusikia ndio na inakujanga shetani anatakanga kukuvunja moyo na kukutingiza na kukutingiza na imani kama, yako e, e, kama una, una mizizi ndani ya Mungu ndiyo. una unawachana una na mambo ya Mungu Kabisa. unajikuta umetoka kwa laini ya Mungu Kabisa. lakini wewe na shukuru Mungu mizizi yako ilikuwa imeingia ndani Kabisa. so you knew this is devil yeah ulijua yu ni shetani na utampatia nafasi na nikamuongelea na ukamuongelea kamwambia sitaki kuona vile umefanya uh-huh. nataka kuona vile Mungu atafanya kutoka hii amen na ndio hivyo yes Mungu alifanya mm-hmm. sahihi wako America amen. na doing well yeah sana wao ame graduate yeah. kwa university i mean ame graduate kutoka secondary mm. high school kwa university yeah. kijana kwa high school yeah sasa mm-hmm. wa pili mm-hmm. si unasikia kusoma eh mm-hmm akaoleka mm. aki huyu alikaa mm. maana alikuwa ananiambia mama sasa nitakuwa chaje mm. si mkubwa ameolewa ameolewa pili sisi yeah. si wapi watatu wameoleka mm. sasa huyu alikuwa ananiuliza sasa mama nikienda utakaje nikamwambia mm. enda uolewe mm. in fact they dated with that man mm. na ilikuwa nayo ilikuwa nayo ilikuwa nayo vita mm. maana she's a born again mm. she's dating a man who is not born again wow. Uh-huh. Sasa mimi nimejaribu kuwaachanisha. Uh-huh. Nimejaribu kwenda maombi kuwatenganisha. Uh-huh. Nimejaribu kuwaweka east to west. Uh-huh. Nimejaribu kuharibu hiyo relationship. <laughs> Kumbe Mungu alikuwa anajua. Uh-huh. In fact he is a good man, uh-huh. a family man. Uh-huh. Kuna watu hawaja 
kili mm. lakini wanaungu wa, wana ni kukiri tu yes ni zafi ni mtu ameogopa ame Mungu yeah. lakini hajakuwa na ile relationship personal mm. yeah personal relationship, relationship with yake God yeah mm. sasa huyo akaoleka mm. na akaandikwa town mm. akawa ameandikwa mm. sasa wacha turuke mm. ndio sasa tuende mbele watasa wameoleka ulisira mm. amepata watoto watatu mm-hmm. ule amepata wawili huyu mm. mwingine naye amepata watatu e. ah tukaka mm-hmm. sasa walipooleka nikaachwa mm-hmm. na nikawa sasa najishukurisha mambo moja mbili mm-hmm. ni kuuza manguo hivyo mpaka ah, ikafika mahali mm-hmm. nikawa sasa niko peke yangu lakini mm-hmm. sijaiacha mungu <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wacha tu, tusikie tangazo. Yeah. Baada ya ili tangazo tusikie, baada ya watoto wote wameenda. Mama ataona sasa amefika ama bado atazidi kusimama na maombi. Atazidi kufanya nini? Usibanduke, twende break kisha turudi. yenye baraka lakini kuifika ile inchi na kutulia katika ile inchi lazima ujiulize uko chini ya mizingi migani searching for a school to enroll in do not worry at itami agape learning center we offer you cbc curriculum friendly environment and a spiritual growth tami agape learning center is also affordable and we have trained teachers what are you waiting for enroll with us now Karibu tena katika kipindi chetu cha Debora tunaendelea kusikia ushuhuda kutoka kwa mgeni wetu ambaye ni mama ambaye ni mcha Mungu anaitwa Agnes ama mama Priscilla mama wa rembo watatu tumetuambia kuna wasichana watatu wa rembo ambao wanamuogopa Mungu kisha sasa ametuambia watoto sasa kila mmoja Mungu amemfanikisha amepata nyumba na mnakwambia mama zidi na mbele kuomba hata shetani akikurushia kitu uone ni kama Mungu hayupo just be focused usipoteze focus yako kwa Mungu maana saa zingine mtu anaweza tereza uone huo ni kama si kuomba Mungu ni kama Mungu akusikia Mungu anakuanga amesikia na anakuanga anatitazama Ana, unajaribiwa unajua Mungu akiwa kazini pia shetani yako kazini na anakuanga anaona na macho ya kiroho where god is taking you so anataka ku destroy your relationship with god ndio sasa ukufe moyo na uone there is no need ya kuzidi kumtumainia Mungu lakini all in all mama anasema bado niliomba na bado ninajua Mungu aja, a, alisikia na yuko tayari kusikia zaidi na kutenda mambo makubwa tusikie sasa kutoka pale watoto wote wamemuondokea amebaki peke yake mam karibu asanti mm. asanti mtazamaji wa kuendelea kutazama kipindi mm. a, tuko hapa kukupatia tumaini mm-hmm. Sasa nimefika wakati msichana huyu watatu mwenye aliyoleka akiwa secondary mm-hmm. 
Mungu akawabariki mm-hmm. wakacheza hii inaitwa green card. Yeah. Na mwaka wa 2016 ya 18 mhm ndio akahama yenda bwanake na wakaenda katika nchi ya Amerikani mm-hmm. hapa sasa ndipo wanaishi mm-hmm. hawa watoto watatu wamenipatia wajukuu wa nane mm-hmm. niko na wajukuu wa nane amen na niko na kituku kimoja na ukai niko na graduate <laughs> sana anaitwa not great niko na great grad sana anaitwa Maito Maito eh. na mwaka mmoja yeah. nashukuru Mungu amen sasa huyo msichana kwa Amerika ndio ananipelekanga nimeenda mara kwanza ya pili mm. hata sasa kesho naelekea huko e. kwa majaliwa ya Mungu. Mm-hmm. Niliwambia msichana wa katikati hakusoma mm-hmm. ameoleka. Mm-hmm. Wanaye huyu mkubwa wa Pilisila alipo alipoleka akangangana na maisha sasa hii amebarikiwa ni wako katika taaluma taaluma moja na pastor Mary mm, ya shule yes. ako na shule Kayole mm-hmm. na Mungu amembariki tena Mungu akampatia shule nyingine sasa hii ako na mbili yes. kwa sababu niliomba na ni Mungu akafanya amen unajua bibi inasema sisi tulikuwa mizabibu ile mikali mm. lakini tukaja tukaunganishwa na msabibu mtamu amen. ambao ni Kristo haleluya mwenye vyote mm. bibi inasema aliye ndani yetu ni mkuu amen na nikaamua kutembea na huyo aliye ndani yetu mm. ambayo ni mkuu mm. yule anionyesha mambo hayo makuu Amen. na makubwa ambayo siyajui Amen. Hivyo Mungu hakutuachilia mm-hmm. watoto wamebarikiwa. Mm-hmm. Sasa huyu watatu nikawa nikimwambia haijalishi huku huku soma mm-hmm. utasoma. Mm-hmm. Nataka kuambia mpendwa huyo msichana watatu naye amesoma akiwa na watoto watatu. Yes. Kaingia adult school mm-hmm. akasoma mm-hmm. mpaka akafanya form 4. Amen. Anaye pia ni mwalimu pamoja mm-hmm. na Pilisira. Yeah. Ilifika wakati hawa wasichana wakaniambia sasa tunataka kumjua baba yetu. Aya. Eh, Pastor uh, Maria uji. <laughs> na kujua baba yao ilifanyika uh-huh. hivi. Uh-huh. Huyu msichana wa tatu akitaka kwenda US uh-huh. maana nilisema yeye ajazaliwa na baba mmoja na wale wawili. Uh-huh. Akasema akaniambia mam, uh-huh. mimi sitaki kwenda US kama sijajua babangu ni mnani. Uh-huh. Walikuwa ananiambia ni, ni waonyeshe mm-hmm. nilikuwa kama mkali eh. maana sikuwa naona haja yeah. kwa sababu mtu ambaye msaidiani mm-hmm. sikuwa naona haja ya kuwatafuta lakini ningekuwa nikashauri mama mm-hmm. kama mtoto anakuuliza babake yeah. muonyeshe mm-hmm. usimfiche maana kutoka bibuni kama Yesu na ya pili mm-hmm. wewe ni we mlikosana na huyo mm-hmm. mtoto wako uko sana yeah. muonyeshe babake mm-hmm. babake amkubali ama mkatae mm-hmm. bora mtoto atakugaumu <coughs> maana kama ningetoka dunia hii miaka hiyo mm. ningetoka kama wajui baba yao yes. so from maana nilipo fahamu na nikawa na ufahamu mm-hmm. i advocate yeah. onyesha mtoto baba yake yeah. usim usim mnyime hiyo hiyo right yake hiyo right yake yes So huyo msichana wa tatu akaniambia nataka kuona babake mm-hmm. na nika nilikuwa najua maana mimi sikuwa mtu wa kutembea huku na huku mm-hmm. so i knew the person pale nitampata mm-hmm. nikarudi huko nilikuwa tunaishi juja mm-hmm. ule msichana alikuwa ameoa nilikuwa wazazi wake walikuwa juja mm-hmm. hivyo nilienda huko nikaulizia mm-hmm. unfortunate mm-hmm. nilienda kumtafuta kitu kama mwezi wa pili mm-hmm. aah mwezi wa walienda August mm. nilienda kama June mm. uh, mwaka wa 2016 mm. nilikuta aliaga mwaka hiyo kitu ma, eh, February mm. na huyo mtoto akasikia uchungu sana mm. maana alisema babake ameaga bila kumjua mm. So hao wengine wakati wakaniambia sasa wakanishika ko mm. wakaniambia sasa mama mm. upenda usipende wacha hivyo natuambia haka baba yetu aligongwa na kiroli ile kubwa <laughs> saa hii eh. utatuonyesha eh. Nikajikakamua mm. na nikajitia nguvu mm. na ile uchungu nilikuwa naye nikaisuppress yeah. nilikuwa ni wa kwetu kwa hivyo mm. si mtu ningetafuta mm. nilikuwa na namba yake yeah. na wakati alikuwa wana wana wanafanya kampeni na, na kazi na one of my my step brother yeah. na pia alikuwa rafiki ya kazi yangu sana yeah. so nikampigia simu siku moja mm akaweka ile turukora mm. turukora ikamwambia ni pasta mm. maana mimi ni mchungaji pia nilikuwa na chungu ya kanisa pahani mm. nilikamwambia mimi ni fulani nataka fulani fu, mambo fulani fulani mm. hakukata mm. kwa sababu hakuna kitu ambao ilikuwa hakuwekelewa yeah. na akaniuliza tunaishi wapi nikamwambia mm. ndio akanipatia appointment mm-hmm. 
akaniambia nataka tupatane wapo nikamwambia sitaki kukuwekea mahali ya kupatana mm. maana naweza iweka na kuwe na shida mm. endekane kama ni jama mm. mimi nataka utuambie mahali tutakuja mm. popote Kenya hii yeah. tutakuja mm. iposa asione kama kuna jama mm. kuna wanaenda ku cream the inheritance yeah. yes. so akaniuliza aka tunaishi wapi nikamwambia mm. kwa hivyo akaniambia hiyo jia barabara ya Northern Bypass anapitanga mm. tukatafuta bahari mm. nikamwambia akaniambia wewe tafuta tukatafuta mkawa mzuri sana mm. kwa sababu ukibarikiwa eh. acha kurudisha mguu wako chini hata kama hatuna nyingi eh. ni mahali tungeweza kwenda tunume kikombe ya chai eh. na tumngoje eh. Kwa hivyo ilikuwa alikuwa amenipatia siku ya ilikuwa ya Jumatano mm-hmm. alafu akanipigia simu akaniambia ameshikana mm-hmm. tupatane siku ya Ijumaa mm-hmm. na akanipatia na masaa yeah. so, tuka nikaita watoto wangu hawa sijana mm-hmm. ilikuwa wakati wa wa holiday mm-hmm. kulikuwa holiday fulani yeah. nikawaambia sisi hatuendi tukanunulie chakula na mtu yeah. tupike kwa nyumba yeah. tukula tushibe. tushibe tukienda hapo yeah. tutanunua del monte yeah. tukae chini maana ndio asione kama tunaenda atubai yeah. yeah. kwa hivyo tulienda hapo tukakula kwa nyumba uh-huh. na tukaenda kwa ile hoteli mm. hoteli mzuri sana mm na tunikaambia mwitishe don monte mbili mm. tukae nazo hapo kwa meza tukimngoja mm. kumbe alikuwa amefika yeah. Na kwa hiyo hoteli yeah. amekaa ame mahali wanaita strategically. Yeah. Anaangalia gate. <laughs> <laughs> Aone ni akina nani hao. So tukakuja uh, na wamebeba waje kuu. Ah ah, yeah. sasa hakuna mtu tulienda wa mimi na yeah. wasichana wawili. Eh. Yeah. Uh, Yule tayari mwingine ameshaenda. Huyo si kwa America. Eh. Yeah. Sasa hata tunge angekuwa tunge na eh, usi yeah. baba yake. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Ama labda ange 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 kusubiri na. Eh. Yeah. Amekaa kwa club. Eh. Yeah sasa naona kila mtu anaingia. Mm. Bisira tukakuja na yeye na gari, mm-hmm. kakuja akapark. Mm-hmm. Alafu tukata sisi tunajua twendi kwa club, eh. tukaenda huko chini mahali kwa open space. Mm. Ndio tukakaa hapo baada ya dakika ta, tatu, mm. nne tano, nikaona mm. simu. Mm. Kanipigia kaniuliza, "Eh, amja kwa nini amechelewa aje mjafika?" Mm. Nikamwambia si tumefika, mm. tuko na huku ndani sisi hatukuingia kwa club. Mm. Akani, "Ah, ninyi nimeona." Mm. Sasa aka 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 describe vile describe vile tulikuwa tumevaa eh yeah. akateremka na hapo mm. pasta huamini tulifika hapo kitu saa tisa mm. tutoka hapo saa sita ya usiku wow. saa tisa saa sita ya usiku tulitoka tulitoka tulienda hapo saa tisa ya jioni eh. tulitoka hapo saa sita ya usiku eh. sasa tumeingia eh. tukuta tukikunywa eh. juice yetu eh. aka yakaitisha chai mm. alipoitisha chai mm tukaanza sasa unajua sasa kwanza tukanyamaza wapewe sifa sasa ameona around ule ule msichana alikataa kuoa hajasoma eh haraka hiyo tio egoa like the matter was nilikuwa uh-huh. nimetoka US uh-huh. sasa nilikuwa mlembo unajua uh-huh. US unaenda unakuja ni kama uh-huh. mlembo wa Kenya uh-huh. eh hey, 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 nini hewa ya huko inabadilisha mtu hata kama ujipaki kitu uh-huh. sasa tukakaa wa in uh-huh. round eh uh-huh hakuna kuongea mm. ni kuhema mm. sasa kwa sababu nani ataanza <laughs> na itaanziwa watu eh. sasa ndio akasema he tumekutana mm. kwa ishamania mm. ndio nikasema ndio acha tufanye introduction mm. yani kama mwanasiasa sema yangu inaitwa Agnes introduction yangu jina yangu kamili ya kitambulisho mm. Prisida akasema naitwa Prisida mm frani mm. na kasema ya bwana yake mm. na yangu mm. msichana na akasema naitwa Lilian mm. ya kitambulisho akasema ya bwana yake na yangu mm-hmm. na yeye akasema vile anasema mm. yake alafu akawauliza nimesikia mkisema sijui Wa, waliongea hapo mm. sasa story ikaanza mm. akaanza kuniletea problem game mm. akaambi sorry akaambia watoto mm. he mimi kama mlikula shida mm. mama yanyu hakunitafuta mm. ushasikia kama unaweza ruka kama masai <laughs> ama tennis uruke juu eh. wanguke eh. namba moja mm. ananipatia brain si alijua kuna watoto mm. kwa hivyo si watu wangetafuta mm. ah lilia yeye mm. ndio anakuwa na uchungu mm aka muangalia hivyo akamuuliza mm. do you mean you didn't know that we were existing mm. akizungu mhm akamwambia sadio na all my to 
So ikawa na katension mm. kwa sababu hakujua vile watali yake mm-hmm. lakini nilikuwa nimewaambia mm. hata kukienda kukaa yaji mm. just hold your peace just hold your peace yes sitaki tutoke hapo umekwaruza huyo mzee mm. ama umemwambia vibaya mm. ana mtu anaweza ukikumbuka maisha umepita mm. ukanitoke tena huyu mtu anajia veil yeah. ni mzuri yeah mm. Hapo ndio tukaongea nikafika mm. masaa kukula mm. wakaambiwa wakule walikula karibu pesa nenda mm. elfu nane lakini mimi mm. tamaji yake sikuonja haya mm. sikuonja uh-huh. siku bado uko na ile uchungu ama akaambia sasa kwa nini kule mm. akaambia watoto mama mtagua kale ni mwetio mm. to cut the story short uh-huh tulimalizana tukimalizana mm. alichukua simu mm. akawape mm. kila mtu aweka namba yake mm. sasa kusave unajua mm. anaweka namba mm. ata save nani mm. akauliza ni andike nani akamwambia vile unataka mm. eh vile unataka mm. so wakamalizana na akawambia mikutano imeanza mm. so akawaita mm. next meeting na watoto wao mm. na wakawa bidisira ya ni out going alikuwa yeah. akipenya penya yeah. na wakati alimtia hata msichana mkubwa mm-hmm. waka meet mm-hmm. tajia walikuwa wa meet na so so hata alimuuliza walipokutana ya pili watoto walimuuliza mm-hmm. sasa mama huyo mwingine anajiwaka tuko mm-hmm. akamwambia naona ni kama mm-hmm. unajua hataki kusema yeah. ni kama unajua mama mnajua maneno na mnanyamazia mm-hmm. so that's how i introduce my children to their father mm-hmm na nilipo introduce mimi nikaondoka mm. just put them there mm. na nika retreat sasa mtu anajua baba yake ni nani yeah. na ni wapi mnaweza wana, wana yeah. sasa ukawa sasa I'm wewe umecheza kiwewe yeah. kisha umeondoka umeondoka kwa sababu sioni kitu tunaweza kuwa tuna mm. nothing can mm. discuss sasa hebu zungumzie huyo mama ambaye anasema uh-huh. ati u mimi siwezi taka mtoto wangu ajue baba yake hata nikijua nikiona unamsaidia nitamuua mm? wale wako mama mm. kama uko hapo na unasema hivyo mm. namba moja damu ya huyo mtoto ni ya huyo mzee mm. na hakuna wakati utaikata ui drain yeah. uweke hilo unataka mm-hmm. jambo la pili mm. huyo mzee pia ana baraka za huyo mtoto mm. maana ni baba yake wa kumzaa biological father yeah. hata kama uko na huyo na pia kuna wamama wanaoleka mm. na wale wamewao hataki watoto wake wao wao wa, wa, wa association na wazazi wale waliwaza mm. it is bad mm. according to my knowledge now mm. it is good yeah. kwa sababu wao watoto hata kama huyo mzee hajawapatia mali mingi kuna furaha ilikuja mm. ya kuwa identified na baba yao yeah. na watoto wao wakawa na furaha wanaitana guka yeah. maana walipenda na wakamuona yeah. wakachinjiwa wakakula mm-hmm. wakafanywa mambo mazuri yes. onyesha mtoto baba mm. kama anataka mm. nimesema hapo mpele yeah heri baba amkatae yeah wewe muonyeshe ajiwake huyu ndio baba mm. baba ndio amtaki yes lakini hapo kesho yes labda watapata na haujui huyo mtoto kile atakuwa mm. sasa hao watoto they speak with their father mm. wakitaka kukupigia simu wanampigia they talk yeah yeah wow that's a blessing yeah. hivyo mama umesikia ukiwa pale nyumbani mm. ndio sometimes is painful ukisikia mama ushuda part 1 vile alipitia mangumu mangumu na najua ya kwamba the father is somewhere ako tu mahali and able and able yeah. lakini ya kutoka kwenda kumuinamilia you know maandiko yamesema ya kwamba kulani wani yule awekange tumaini lake kwa mwanadamu maana utaweka pale utakufa na stress unaona mama she look very young mm-hmm. promising maana kujibebea ma stress aduo ninateseka na baba watoto yuko nini ali move on alisoja on na akasema Mungu wangu ako na mimi hata kama mwanaume amenikana Mungu ako na mimi kwa hivyo usikufe na stress wewe lea watoto wako katika njia ya uungu mm-hmm. wakitaka kujua baba yao watakuja kumjua usiwakataze hawata kujua. wewe utakuwa baba yao mm-hmm. you will never be their dad True. so it's better you just show them ile baraka mama na bariki naye watoto sio ile ya mzee yeah. hata kama ni drunkard yeah. somebody told me that even if my dad is drunkard na mpatie anga pesa Ndiyo. aende tu alewe kabisa mm. kwa sababu ni babangu na siwezi mkana mm. kwa hivyo tusijilete laana na tulete watoto wetu laana mm. kwa sababu ya kutoheshimu mababa zetu Ndiyo wanaweza kuwa wako pale but just know 
according to God, uyo mungu bado anamcount like a, a, a God to their children. children yeah. May God bless you as we go for a short break, then we come back for the last part. Karibu uh, tena katika kipindi chetu cha Debora. Unatutazama kupitia Agape Love TV. Uh, na tunashukuru sana kwa sababu ya kutuzunga kututazama comments zako, likes zako, unatorusha mbele. Na sisi tunazidi kufurahia. Tafadhali ukiishie ukisikia ushuda kama huu usibake, usibaki tu mali pale ama barikiwe peke yako. Just share with somebody mwambie asikize hiyo shuhuda na ili akaweze pia kuwa wakubarikiwa tena zaidi. Kwa hivyo tuko na yeye katika nyumba Mam Agnes. Asante. Karibu sana tukaendelee kutoka mahali tuliacha. Karibu. Watoto mewa introduce yeah. kwa baba yao, hongera mam kwa sababu you never denied your children their right. Yeah. Na hata kama a, 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 uje kuweko uje waje kuwa wanajua tuliachiwa baba. Na ninashukuru Mungu mama maana we ukufi utazidi kuishi Amen. kwa sababu ulipanda mbegu ya ya, ya righteousness Amen. maana maandiko anasema apandaye mbegu ya utakatifu atakula matunda ya utakatifu Amen. ukipanda ma, 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 mbegu ya uovu uovu utakumaliza Kabisa. kwa hivyo ni vizuri ya kwamba you are very open to your children they know they are dad and they cannot blame you because walijua what happened and has they are watching tunaamini ya kwamba pia wanabarikiwa na watazidi kujifunza mengi hata kama nyumba inaweza kuwa na shida watasema mam alingangana tufike mahali tumefika wacha na sisi tungangane tusipatie shetani nafasi sasa tuko the, the last part mam tu, tuendelee kutoka mahali tuliachia asante mm. ah asante mtazamaji tuko kipindi cha mwisho mm. ah endelea kutazama hii runinga mm. na uambie mtu mwingine. Yes. Ni sasa nilipotambulisha watoto wangu kwa baba yao. Mm. 
kwa ule mkubwa alikuwa na miaka maana alikuwa amezidisha miaka 45. Mhm. Mimi ni na miaka, niko na miaka 60 na karibu 4 5 sasa. Wow, and very it look yeah. still very young. Thank you. <laughs> kwa nah. Mungu hakuna kuzeka. Unajua it's biblical. It biblical. Katika kitabu cha Isaiah yeah. ya kwamba he will renew their That's strength right. yeah. and we shall fly like eagles. Yeah. We'll, we shall run and not faint. Yeah. Ah, that's one the walk and not grow weary. Amen. Yo, it is my scripture. That's one of the, my younger scripture. Amen. Maana hiyo najiwanga. Amen. Kwa sababu every day God in me my strength. Yes. And that's why I am here mm. to encourage people. Amen. I talk to women yeah. and give them courage. Mhm. Uh-huh. Ah uh, mimi zimbagi wimbo wa kushindwa. Uh-uh. Ingawa na saa zingine nasikia kulia kama mwanadamu. Yeah. But after that I stand again. Amen. And I know because the Bible says our God holds ana Mungu wetu anatushika na mkono wake wa kulia. Amen. Isaiah 45. Amen. Ah uh, sasa nilipoa introduce naye akawaita mm. mara ya pili mm. wakaenda wakakutana na wao wakiwa wawili. Mm. Sasa yeye na wasichana wawili. Mm. Mara ya tatu akawaita na watoto wao. Mm. Na they had a good time. Mm-hmm. Wapeleka mahali wa wale wana swing wa swing. Mm. So they had a good time. Baka yeah. ule mjukuu mdogo anamwambia anaambia anamwambia huka sasa sasa hatutaki kwenda kwa hoteli tena. Mm. Utuita kwako. <laughs> Ana wakaongea vile wanaongea. Yes. Uh, sababu kuu mm. tumekuja hapa mm. ni kukupatia tumaini. Yes. Na <coughs> nilizaa watoto nikawalea na shida. Mm. Siku ya leo mimi ndio huyo napa, napandaga ndege. Mm. Naenda US mm-hmm. na kaa miezi sita. Mm. Si hati kwenda US ni kitu ya maana sana. Yes. Maana sio mimi wa kwanza na sio mimi wa mwisho. Yes. Lakini kulingana na story yangu mahali nimetoa. Mm. Ungeniambia mtoto wangu mmoja atakuwa resident wa US. Mm. Ningekuuliza swali. Mm. Amepelekwa na nani? <laughs> Anaiga Ame, nani? Ameiga nani? <laughs> ni nani wa kwao? Yes. Mwalimu wa madhe anasema anasema hapa ni wapi? Eh. Alikuwa anasema na sasa tunauliza hapa ni wapi? When mwezi enda mbali. Mwezi enda mbali. Eh. Kwa hivyo nilipo walipoenda Nililia nikaambia Mungu ni asante. Mm. Maana Mungu akikumulika na jua yake ya neema mm. atakutoa mahali huko. Biblia inasema na mtoa maskini kutoka mavumbini. Amen. Mavumbini mm. anamuinua, anamkarisha na wafana. Haleluya. Sasa hii mimi wakipanda ndege mm. waende Amerika. Hiyo watu wengi wanatamani. Mm. Kwa sababu kama ni pesa tulikuwa naye kulipa aende tungepata. Mm. At in fact hata kwenda kwao ilikuwa shida. Mm. Maana ni maombi mm. station stage hii tunaomba mm. Mungu anatokelezea tunahitaji 1100 tunaomba Mungu anatokelezea. Mm. We did not have money anywhere mm. but God is faithful. Amen. Sasa mimi siku ya kwanza kupanda ndege nilikupokuwa huko juu nilichichuna. Kajiuliza mm. <laughs> kama ni wewe. Am I li- alive? Eh. Hey. Ama ninaota? Eh. Hey. Nikaenda na ya pili. Mm. Mama, uko hapo? Mm-hmm. You are there as a single parent. Mm. Either by choice mm. or by circumstance. Yeah. No one thing. Mm-hmm. God loves you. Amen. God knows you by knows you knows you by your name. Mm. Mungu anakujua kwa jina lako. Mm. Kuna mstari katika Isaia 45 si, 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 si chika ni ninakiri verse mm-hmm. inasema ya kwamba mm. nimekuita mm. na nimekupatia jina la heshima. Mm. Kiswahili nasema mm. I have called you. Mm-hmm. I mean kizungu mm. and I have given you a title of honor. Amen. Though you don't know. Yeah. Soma Isaia 45. Mm na Mungu anasema nitaenda mbele yako mm. niki, nikiyeyusha milima Amen. na nikinyang'anya wafalme ya mm. silaha zao nimekupatia nime jina la heshima mm. na nitakufikiria utajiri ulio sirini yes. mpendo utajiri sio pesa mm. sasa hii sina mali hata kwa banki hata unaweza niambia nipe 10000 nipate mm. lakini mambo yale Mungu anakufanyia mm. hiyo ndio rasmi mali ile Mungu amekupa children are blessing Amen. the bible says mm. they are a gift from God. Amen. and they are blessing. Mm. Watoto hao ndio wamefanya nikae vile niko mm. na kaa nyumba mzuri, mm. nalalia kitanda mzuri. Mm. Kuna wakati ningekula kile nitapewa. Maana mm. kile mtu atanisaidia nacho. Mm-hmm. Leo nakula kile ninataka. Amen. Na si atinikule. Unajua watu nadhania ukikula nyama au kule sijui nini ndio kukula. Mm. Ah ah 
ukifikiria leo nitakula gideri mm. naweza pata gideri mm. ukifikiria leo nitakula ugali ya managu mm. naweza pata managu yes. nikiongea kukula vizuri si nyama mm, mm. na machapo na mapiza na nini mm. ah ah mm. unakula kilo unataka unataka mm. haugoji msaada mm, mm. mungu alikuja na ananipatia by mm. the way au watoto wangu wangelala siku tatu mm. mpaka mtoto ukimfuatia kitu hawezi meza mm. maana amelala ja mm. but today they can eat yeah hata tunasaza mm. unaweza bless somebody mm. so mama ninakwambia lea hao watoto wako mm. namba moja mm-hmm. waonyeshe Mungu mm. if there is anything Mm-hmm. good under the sun mm. i have given my children mm. and a good inheritance mm. ata sai nikatoka mm. dunia hii yeah. ni kuonyesha kwa mungu mm. kwa sababu kwa mungu ndio kuna vyote mm. huyo mkubwa amesikia ameoleka na mchungaji mm-hmm. wa pili sasa hata amechaguliwa kanisani kwa mm. amekuwa elder mm. as a leader of prison worship mm-hmm. in a big church mm. because niliwaelekeza kwa mungu na hiyo ndio ile njia tu unaweza kuelekeza watoto wako Amen. na wasipotee. Amen. Hata kama watapotea. Mm. Biblia nasema hata kama watatandika vitanda zao kuzimu, mm. Mungu anakuja anatoa. Usijali wewe. Mm-mm. Bora tu umewaweka kwa Mungu mm. na unawaombea. Hata mm. akunywe alale mti kwa mtaro. Hata mm. avute bangi. Hata mm. ashikwe. Huyo mm. mtoto atarudi kwa Jesu. Unaona huyo msichana wangu aliza mm. na nikaambia shetani sitaki kuona kile umefanya. Mm. Namba one onyesha watoto wako Mungu. Mm. Namba two, be the role model of your children. Yeah. Whatever you would not like your children to do. Mm-hmm. Please please don't, don't do it yes don't do it mm. na kama ni lazima uifanye mm. maana si watu wote wana neema mm. be very secretive yeah. si kuonyesha mama una watoto unaonyesha mume huyu mm. na to make the matter wasi unaleta mwanaume kwa single room mm. unalala oh, mama unaenda ama baba unakuja umelewa mm. ama unatuma mtoto wako pombe ama mm. sigala mm. please hakuna kizazi unaelekeza mm. ya tatu penda watoto wako mm. with all your heart yeah wapende mm-hmm. unaweza kuwa hauna kitu and please mzazi uko hapo mama single mother uchungu wa ule mwanaume don't transfer that bitterness to our children yeah. nimelea watoto wangu hiyo miaka yote mm-hmm. sijaongea uzuri wa baba yao mm-hmm. ama ubaya wa baba yao mm-hmm. sijawahi ongea mm-hmm. kusema mtu mnakula shida na 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 a ah, ah. please mm-hmm. udiposa nifunga mdomo nilifu- i zipped my mouth yeah Daudi akasema nitafunga mdomo wangu usiseme mema mama mabaya. Mm. Alijua maana mdomo unaweza sema. Amen. So mama nimekuomba naomba mm. tu ujue Mungu anakupenda. Mm. Watoto wako wataenda mbali. Amen. Zaburi 112 mm-hmm. watoto wanye haki watakuwa hodari katika nchi. Wako watakuwa hodari. Mm. Kama ni wangu mm. wanaendesha gari, mm. wana biashara zao, wengine mm. wako ngambo mm. hata wako. Mm. Mbona akubariki? na bwana akutende mema. Amen. Simama kwa Mungu, mahali huko unatumikia Mungu mtu, mtu Mungu mtumikie. Mm. Penda mchungaji wako, sikia neno la Bwana na litii neno la Bwana mm. na utaenda mbali. Hata kama watu wenyu walisema utaenda mbali, mchawi na mganga alisema utaenda mbali, mm. unaenda mbali kwa sababu ya Mungu. Mm. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Wow, that's so good. Yeah. Hiyo ni ya maana tena zaidi na tunabarikiwa kutoka mahali tumetoka katika hii safari yetu ya, ya yetu na Agnes yeah. tumekuwa tukizungumziwa na mama yetu ambaye amekuwa wahimizo tena sana 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 na mimi napendezwa wakati tunapokaa na maandiko tunapo tunaposimama na maandiko na ninataka tu tuangalie katika kitabu cha uh, Isaiah chapter 51 Yes. 51 verse 23. Maana sasa unaona unatumiwa vimbaya. Unaona ni kama you know it's not easy kufika mahali ambapo umefika. Mm. Unaambiwa unafanywa mate. Mm. Unateso na huyo mama ambaye amekuajiri. Mm. Unapata watoto, mume anakukana na sema mm. eh, anakuachanisha. Okay wewe Mungu bado wako pamoja na wewe na wao wazee vijana you pregnant the girls then you run away like murife kindly jua hao watoto watakuja kukua na hao watoto siku moja watakuona wata na watasema 
sio dadi kama huyu. Yeah. Nina salute baba ya Spirisira mahali alipo. Uh-huh. Naweza kutufuata tuone. Uh-huh. Na ninashukuru sana maana haukukana hata watoto wakati they needed to talk to you. You were there for them. Uh-huh. Though you never prayed party ya kuwalea but wanakutambua ya kwamba wewe ndiye baba yao. Na ni asante maana ulijiavel na ninasema ni asante. Kwa hivyo kama kuna wengine ambao ulifanya hivyo na ukatoroka hata wakati watoto wanataka kukujua you don't you are, unauliza wataharibu boma yako you have to be open to your wife maana itakuja tu kujulikana ya kwamba hao watoto wewe ni wako kwa hivyo ni vizuri usikatae kuintroduceiwa ama kusema ya kweli mimi ni baba yao na wazazi tumesema wakike tafadhali onesha watoto baba yao don't deny them that right. So, kuna wakati ambapo maandiko amesema in the book of Isaiah chapter 51 verse 23 nasema but I will put into the hands of those who afflict you who have said your soul uh, I mean to your soul bow down so that we may walk over you. You laid your back like uh, like the ground even like the street to those who walked over you. Mm-hmm. Kuna watu ambao walikukanyanga mgongo. Walisema lala chini mm-hmm. tukukanyange kwa mgongo. Mm-hmm. You know not uh, physically literally. kulala mm-hmm. literally mm-hmm. but walikufanyisha kazi mbaya mbovu. Amen. Mm-hmm. A time will come hauta wata kukanyanga mgongo tena. Amina. Mungu ata, atakuwa amekubariki vile mama Priscilla ama Agnes ametuambia. Mm-hmm. Vile watu wale walimfanya vimbaya. Some of them they are late walikufanga maana uovu wao Mungu hajakubali hata waone. Yeah. So Mungu atakubali wale waliopitia juu ya mgongo yako mm-hmm. wakuje tena kupitia kwa huo mgongo. Mm-hmm. So God will take you to another level. So hakuna wakati tena utainamilia wapita kwa mgongo yako. Mungu atakubali kwa sababu Mungu ana wakati. There is a time for everything. There is a season for everything. Mm-hmm. Just accept it ni leo tu ninakanyango mgongo but a time will come they will not find my back to step on it. Mm-hmm. So continue being focused if at all ujajuana na Mungu. Juana na Mungu. This is not applicable to those who do, don't know God. Mm-hmm. Mungu ana, ana, anatembea na wale wanaomjua na ambao wamepatiana maisha yao kwa Yesu mana the moment Agnes gave her life to God that is the time now God started working together with her mambo mengine hautaweza unless uwe pamoja na mu, na Mungu so Mungu wetu awabariki na watende mema ninaamini ya kwamba mam you can just take a, a, a yeah, one second tell them something Okay asante sana mtazamaji kwa kutazama uh-huh. na kuvumilia kuwa pamoja na sisi yes Ah, uh, ningekwambia kitu kimoja tu. Mm. God loves you. Yes, with an everlasting love. Amen. And that will not change. Amen. Know that. Yeah. Hata kama unahisi there's no one to love you. Mm. There is God in heaven who loves you. Amen. The only thing you can do kama hujafanya uamuzi wa kuwa na uhusiano na Mungu, make Christ your personal savior. Amen. We are not talking about any church. Mm-hmm. We are talking about a relationship with Christ. Amen. Maana hapo ndipo turn around ya mtu ukuja. Mm. Ah, kwa sababu wakati ule mambo imekuzidishia. Mm. Kuna mahali unaenda kuibwaga. Mm. You go and cry before God. Mm. He's the only one who can't judge you. Mm-hmm. Is is only yeye tu ndio atakwambia umenichokesha mm. na kuniomba. Mm. Mwanadamu atakusaidia leo na kesho. Mm. Ya pili mama uko hapo. Naona huyo mwanaume wa mwenyewe uko na yeye. Mm-hmm. Jua kitu kimoja, si umefichwa. Mm. Kama anakupenda zaidi, mm. angekuonyeshana kwa watu wao. Mm. Jua kama umeweka ukando, wewe ni kama kutu, u, ukienda kwa hoteli, kuna sahani unaweke yako chakula mm. na kuna nyingine inaleta kwa inaitwa side sosa. Mm. Hapa sahani hii ya chakula mm. kuna nyama za kila aina ile unaitisha. Mm-hmm hapo ndipo nyama ziko mm. but hii ya kando ni kuweka mifupa mm. no you are side sosa mm. wewe utataka kukaa hivi mm. please na kama bibili na aija kukataza kuoleka mm. piga magoti ambia Mungu akupatie mume mm. na atakupatia amen eh anyway, mimi eh, miaka ilienda sana bila kujua umuhimu wa kuoleka mm. sasa hivi nikipata ninaolewa mm. si dhambi mm. si miaka imeenda yes so mm. nataka kuambia uko hapo mama yeah. 
omba mm. bibilia inasema omba mm. na utapewa amen bisha mm. tafunguliwa amen tafuta mm. utapata amen that's the only thing but yes. cha muhimu zaidi mm. penda hao watoto mm. onyesha jia ya Mungu mm. ongeresha wakiboko piga kiboko mm. na yote nda kwa maombi amen god will not disappoint you amen if he didn't disappoint me yes hata ku disappoint god bless you god you do you good enjoy your life nataka uwasalimie watoto wako mali walipo thank you ah asante sana meli kunikumbusha watoto wangu prisida my first born lilian my second born Eva my third born mm. naacha nikwambie watoto wangu niliwaita majia bila kujua ni za biblia na mm. sikuwa nimeokoka mm. let i came to understand all the names are in the bible amen i love you mm. because hiyo ni mungu najua na bila pia nyinyi najua mnanipenda mm. always you made me happy mm. you take good care of me mm. thank you si nasemaga kitu kimoja si kwa sababu nyinyi watoto wangu ndio mnanisaidia mm. god commands you to do that Amen. because without god to command you mm. amwezi kuna wazazi wengi wanalia mm. lakini mimi acha nikwambie pastor Mary mm. sijawahi lia kwa watoto hao wangu mm. hata kama nililia huyu mdogo alipooleka mm. na mimi sijawahi tafuta msichana nimewalelea kayole mm. kule kuna ambia wa kuna gaza na kila kitu mm. sijawahi tafuta mtoto mm. sijawahi kukosa mtu mm. because nilijua kitu kimoja ukiwapeana kwa Mungu kwa ni take care of them. Na wasalimia katika mm. jina la Yesu. Mm. Keep on holding on. Mm. God will take us far. Mm. Thank you Baba Viki, mm. eh, Pastor Jogona. Mm. Ya ulichukua msichana wangu wa kwanza endelea mm. kuchunga kanisa la Kristo. Amen. Binguni unaenda peke yako. Mm. Chunga watu wa Mungu mm. waelekeze na jua nzuri. Amen. Thank you Getonga Baba Nyokafi. Mm. You are a good man mm. and a good family man. Mm. Keep on taking care of those girls. Mm. Tomorrow they will take care of you. Yes. Thank you so much. Eh, Kamau mm. Baba Cynthia. Mm. You and Eva, mm. you are the people who made me to go to America. Mm. Thank God because I did introduce hope in you. Mm. I remember I told you Baba Cynthia. Mm. The by uh, Mzungu anasemanga I, if you cannot beat them mm. join them mm. wakati nilishinda wa kuwakatanisha na Ivana mkapata watoto mm. i joined you mm. and you took care of Cynthia mm. na nyinyi i walk this journey with you god bless you and mm. bless you thank you my god children mm. viki wailimo kevin cynthia kimani nyoka fi gadoni na muumbi na pia kuna kasiana tunaletoa tuliletoa na viki kanaitwa Irene also thank you to be among our family na Kilian ako katoto kadogo mm. and also my family my people and also i want to forget to thank each and every person mm. amenisaidia katika hiyo safari mm. kuna mmoja mwingine unilipatia chakula uliniombea mm. ulini ulini kubatia mm. na upendo ulinipatia tumaini because even me there are people who was giving me hope mm. in that journey as i give inasema ya kwamba paulo paulo aliambiwa na yesu ya kwamba nilikufariji liposa na wewe ukuwe na moyo na uwe na nguvu ya kufariji wengine mm. thank you for each and every person who have taken part in my life and especially my brother thank you and my sister god bless you pastor agnes my sister in love thank you your children thank you everyone who is called, who is god of my name thank you god bless you amen, amen. thank you so much for creating your time thank you. tumemuita tu alialikwa na kawa ako na safari ya kwenda us kwa hivyo utakapokuwa na watch hii labda atakuwa tayari ameshaondoka maana anaondoka kesho yeah. na ninaamini ya kwamba Mungu wetu atakuwa na we mam. Sidi na mbele ku kupasu Amen. the goal na kuwa mfano mzuri na kuhubiri Yesu Amen. na nimefurahi kusema umesema ya kwamba unaweza olewa by the way you are yeah. still young ukipata mtu wa kuzeeka yeah. naye pamoja yeah. mimi hata mimi kama mchungaji na kubarikia maana Mungu atakuwa pamoja na wewe na mmoja uniletee that's a joke <laughs> thank you so much may god bless you so much yeah. we love you and we we value you so much i love you too thank you so thank much thank you for giving me with this chance mm. may god bless you with the bishop and the entire church yes this is the, was not my first time to be here mm. na wakati nilikuwa napika kali mna nipatia kazi ya kupika keki ya harusi huku na yes. chakula mm. na natoka hapa nikiwa mzito amen bwana wabariki glory to god thank you god bless you thank you guys Shalom. we love you
program is possible courtesy of Bishop George Tiongo. For prayers, inquiry and partnership, call or SMS on 0722 793 303 or 011 5 and our counselors will help you.